one of the SC Dallas MLS rules career mode this is like an episode one slash zero the rules I kind of forgot to do the intro yesterday so the rules will also be included in this video I hope y'all enjoy all right also now it's time to go over the rules all right so first and foremost we'll be using the designated player rule it's 10k for a designated player which we only get three a season and we cannot spend more than 15 million on any one player, if they're designated player or not. Um, roster limit will be 30. And if a power five team or a power five league team comes in to buy one of our players, we kind of have to sell. If, I mean, if they're getting relegated, I, I can think about it. All right, a homegrown player must be from the United States. Only have a three month scouting period for this homegrown player. We can, it can be any player, any potential, anything I want to sign. We can only sign one, but if we do sign one, we lose the first draft pick in the MLS Super Draft. The MLS Super Draft will take place the day after the MLS Cup Final. The first round draft pick will be a max of 85 potential, and the second round will be a max of 75 potential, with the third round being a max of 70 potential. This is where I, I kind of put doing something different. The re-entry draft will take place the day after the MLS draft. There will be only one pick and it would be all American and Canadian players outside the MLS will be put into a pool and randomized. So I'm, I'm taking like, for obviously I'm not gonna put Pulisic in it. Maybe John Brooks might later down. Um, Weston McKinney's not gonna be in it. Adams is not gonna be in it, so. Those players are definitely not going to be in this. The selection will go on how the league table is finished. So if Atlanta wins the league, they'll have the last pick. And I will randomize the list. And players 1 through 23, Atlanta could not take. If that makes sense. So this will be the rules video for this FC Dallas career mode. And the first episode should be out later this week. Thank you all for watching. See you all again is reached the playoff quarterfinals. Yo, what's up, Ken? Reached the U.S. Open Cup, reached a round of 16 within two seasons. Reached the semifinals. That's fine. Keep player growth under 30%. Finish the season with a profit margin of $87 million. Huh. So something's happened here. Finish, finish the season with 87. We're going to get fired. I can already see. We're going to get fired. Yep. We're going to get fired here. Team-wise, I think we're pretty decent. I don't really see any improvements that we can make right now. We only have two, three players, four players under 70. So, I mean, we're actually a pretty decent side. Bliska is the, yes, Bliska is the homegrown player. So any of these players we can grab. See, he's in Orlando. I moved him to Orlando myself, though, before the start of the season. All right, let's get into this game. First game of the season versus RSL. Hopefully we can whip their ass. If all things go well, I've got a good manager. He's uh, that not a foul. Netherlands used to use that was my player that did that. It wasn't a foul. Really, they invented it, and uh, plenty of countries have adopted it since. Aaron Geese is making the. Uh, How did Beckerman get to that? How did Beckerman get to that damn ball? Okay, the tag uh, going. The referee lets them go. Well, that's going to be a free kick. Why would you call the foul so late? Yes, I'm shooting on you. Just intend to put a bit of whip on these free kicks. Needs it here. What do you mean by that, Rich? What do you mean by that? That tackle is only a throw in. Cross. Good width in the attack here, looking for a cross at the end of it. Not really. Saw the goal. Good block. Corner. 
up. We cannot get any. Here what? comes the corner. Blatter. Super reflexes from the goalkeeper. Why didn't he? Trying to pick out someone in the center. Yeah, the goalkeeper has saved my ass in this game. When I started commentating. We've got two added minutes. Goalkeeper has definitely saved my ass. Let's go to halftime. And there is the halftime whistle. Cannot make a pass. Ah. He has cleared it well. Trying a bit too hard trying to force the pass and it went to straight to an opponent. He can't pass down, like, at all. Oh, that was a first shot on first shot on goal. Oh my gosh! Shit! Cross. Strong, powerful. We end the game. The man came from all sides and they get a corner. Take the corner. Not much time left. Looking for a winner. Corner played in. Thank you. In the game. Thank you. It's one one draw. As the referee blows the whistle not, for the not last as good time. as I wanted it to be. Well, they've ended up with a point a piece, and it's better than losing. Yeah, I don't think either team will. That game was quite terrible. Not gonna lie. That was sucked. We only had two shots the whole game. One shot on target, no possession. So yeah. Brian Acosta looks like he played good. So Brian Acosta. Corey Hayes came off the bench and played freaking absolutely great. And Pedeso looks like he played pretty good. So, not bad. I don't know at all. This is fun, though. Already the schedule is screwing me. We play two games in three days. Yay. So, we play Portland, and then we're going to go play Seattle. One's at home. And I hope the other one's at home too, because that's that'll be a lot of travel. They'll play in their whites. Yeah. Welcome everyone, I'm Martin Tyler. He's Alan Smith, and we're gonna talk about this match today on right, the commentary position. Oh, no, they need to win. Hopefully they need to win this game. Oh my geez, not starting off good. Not starting off good at all. FC Dallas play today nope. against Portland Timbers. Well, after that opening day fixture, going to be interesting to see how this team definitely not starting team, off good. To, say, to, to get to the playoffs and, and maybe progress a little bit. I can't quite yep, see them Reece. going all Tell the way. Tell me about but it, bro. They're a strong team. This they're up against a team that uh, away from home. It's not going to be easy for them here. Oh, uh, that works. Some options now for the pass. They must have changed the speed Short again in this game because there's the no way. I had Marcus Alonso catching while I was playing foot. That was a terrible shot. Terrible shot. Very terrible shot. Going forward well. There it is. Oh my gosh. Why would you run to me? Why would you run to me? Why would you run away from me? Get more space. So that way one person cannot cover two people. Like that just happened. Quick witted and somehow I'll come back out with the ball them. and pass the <laughs> fucking ref was in the way. Come on, on, man. The, Get out the way, ref. Now. Get out thy way. Polo. Looking oh. for teammates in the middle. Looking to clip it into the middle. And it's half time. And there is the half time whistle. Nil nil at the break. Did not get the ball. Guzman. Valeri. Going to try one now. Well, the opposition must have thought they were holding out, but it's a good goal past them, and the opposing manager will be Are you shitting me? Because his team were basing their game on shutting out the opposition. Well, that's failed. And the manager, though, they need to keep some sort of poise about their play. Yeah, they've got to keep the shape. With good That's another goal. What a goal! And that could just pull him away to make sure of the victory. Oh He's my gosh. I don't understand this game. 
I was literally just playing this shit yesterday and it was fine. Now I can't. I can't even. What the fuck? I can't even break down a defense. Like, these players are literally catching all my players and they're not as fast as my players. I know for sure they're not as fast as my players. Two nil loss. The shittiest game I've ever played in my life. Anyway, thank y'all for tuning in. Catch y'all again later. Y'all have a good one.